Hello, my name is Macy. I'm a second year student here at Carleton and I'm studying aerospace engineering and this is a day in my life. All right, so this morning is a little bit unconventional and I'm a little bit crunched for time because I have a thermal quiz in 45 minutes. So I wake up, I grab myself some coffee and a banana and I head downstairs to get all of my stuff ready for the quiz. It's an open book quiz, so I'm getting out all of my notes and the tables that I will probably need and reviewing some last minute problems. And then I log in to see you learn and write the quiz. And here is the quiz submission. I'm all done, so now I get to actually start my day. All right, so I'm done the quiz. I finally have some time to kind of get organized for the day. So something that I like to do every day um, for myself is to write a list of all the tasks that I need to get done. So my list is divided into two parts, um, one for school and then one for CSES. CSES stands for the Carleton Student Engineering Society. I'm a vice president on the society, so I like to write all my stuff for that as well. And yeah, so I like to make this list and prioritize kind of all the tasks that I need to get done and cross them off as I complete them. It's something that helps me to stay motivated and um, encourage me to keep going throughout the day. So when I make my list, something that I like to use is my calendar here. It has all of my deadlines on it, so I'm able to kind of prioritize my tasks based off of what needs to get done the fastest. All right, so like I mentioned, I'm a vice president for the Engineering Society, and one of my responsibilities for that is to have an office hour. So in an in-person year, we actually have an office space as the society where members can come and ask us questions during our office hours. So to emulate that online, we have a really big Discord server for all of like the student, the engineering student clubs and societies. So it's kind of like the hub for people if they wanna get involved with that. So I'm gonna go sit in the CSES channel of that Discord server. And um, if anybody has questions, they'll come and talk to me. So while I sit in this Discord call for my office hours, I'm going to simultaneously um, send some emails and I'm also going to work on my slideshow for our upcoming general meeting. So now I'm going to get started with a thermodynamics lecture and work on that. And here is a snippet of the notes that I took during the lecture time. All right, so now as you can see, I have changed locations in my house. I just kind of like to have the change of scenery. Um, it's nice to not sit in the same spot all day. So I've moved spots in my house and I'm actually starting an elect lecture. So I'm again, going at my own pace. I'm rewatching a recorded lecture um, just to make sure that I understand because we have an upcoming quiz this week. So I've been working pretty hard all afternoon. I'm getting lots of stuff on my list done. Um, but it's also really important to take breaks throughout the day and kind of get outside. So um, something that I like to do is go on bike rides. I'm going to go on bike rides with one of the guys in my program at a safe distance. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that and it will be a nice break. And then by the time I come back, I'll be all reset and fresh to keep going with all of my work. So I'm back. I'm going to go eat some dinner and then I'm going to head off to my pass or peer assisted study session. Um, this is a really awesome opportunity because an upper year student helps uh, to facilitate you in a conversation and just kind of solidify concepts that you've learned in your classes. So it's really nice to have like an extra problem analysis session um, with a student facilitator who can kind of show you the tips and tricks and explain to you the concepts in a little bit more detail. And now that pass is over, I'm going to work on an assignment. All right, so I'm on a call with my friend Elise and we're working on our thorough assignment and we're collaborating together to get it done. There she is. So as a student in engineering, especially because this is a super difficult program, it's really, really important to collaborate with your peers. Um, it's hard, so chances are you're not gonna understand everything the first go round, and chances are lots of other people are also not going to understand what's going on all the time. So that's why it's really good to get together as a group, whether, you know, when we're in person, it's really great to do at the library, but online we can kind of get in calls and emulate that the best we can, and we can all put our heads together and work on the same problems. And typically when we do something together, we end up getting a lot farther than we ever would alone. 
All right, so um, it's time for me to pack up all of my schoolwork and the stuff that I was doing. I might send a few more emails for CSES, but then it's getting late, it's about 11.30, so it's time for me to hit the hay. Um, I typically like to get around eight hours of sleep, so I like to go to bed around midnight um, so that I can wake up at eight the next morning. Um, but yeah, sleep, sleep is really important, especially in a program like this. It's always good to make sure that you're getting the amount of sleep that your body needs so that you can be more productive the next day. So yeah, gonna get ready for bed.